Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell, EVP and Managing Director at JSA, and joining me today as part of our Data Cloud USA interview series, I have the pleasure of introducing to you Bill Clayman, EVP of Digital Solutions at Switch, and also, notably, one of our Greener Data authors. Uh, so a little bit about, about you, Bill. I'm just going to give you a little intro here before I turn it over. Uh, I just want everyone to know a little bit more about you. So, so Bill's a technologist, well-known sustainability industry leader, and ranked also globally as a leader in cloud computing and data security. Most recently, uh, I believe, Bill, you've been recognized by Infrastructure Masons for things like the 2020 IM100 Award and the 2021 iMasons Education Champion Award uh, for really your focus and your work around helping to diversify the digital infrastructure talent pool. Uh, also, um, on the other side of things, um, professionally, Bill helps uh, the Switch team develop new ways to impact the digital infrastructure industry. Uh, as a leader in sustainability and, of course, supporting Switch, who are also leaders in that area, um, as well as sustainability, as well as exascale design, ESG, power development, and I think on and on. And, and Bill, I want to let you have a moment to tell us more about that uh, when you can, but but welcome, first of all, to JSA TV. We're happy to well, have you here. Th thank you so much, Barb. I think that's like the most wonderful and warm intro I've had in such a long time. You're probably the longest <laughs> I've gone without saying anything and just smiling and nodding. I know, you didn't hear. I was just yeah, getting, getting, my, getting my work out of my neck. Thank you so much for having me, Barb, and, and thank you to all the amazing people that are listening and watching this and thinking that this caffeinated chipmunk is about to entertain us. It's just water. <laughs> I promise. It's just regular water. I'm really glad to be here, Barb. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. We're really glad to have you. And let's start talking about, of course, as I said, this is part of our data cloud series. Uh, so data cloud's coming up and there's several, several topics on the agenda that are have to do with sustainability and and more, of course. But but what do you think? I want to hear from you what you think most notably people should be prepared to take away from this inaugural event. Data Cloud, of course, has been in Monaco for quite some time, but the inaugural U.S.-based uh, event for Data Cloud. Well, the first takeaway is that it's not Monaco. Right. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to have these beautiful yachts in, uh, you know, on, on, on a on a frame of mountains and uh, amazing right. hotels, sure. but you know, it's Texas and it's amazing in the barbecue store. Yeah. You can buy yourself a cowboy hat and look amazing. Um, there, <laughs> there's going to be, there's going to be some really great takeaways from this event. And, you know, I've had a chance and if you haven't had a chance to take a look at the agenda, please, please do. Um, we're going to be talking about everything from edge to managing supply chain challenges, which believe me, quite a few people still have a problem with, um, you know, marrying the concepts of 5G connectivity and bridging things like the digital divide and these giant connectivity gaps that we have here in America and obviously all over the world as well. Um, you know, we're going to talk about things like density, working with the next generation of data center professionals. And Barb, you said it earlier, um, you know, a, a lot of my work and just infrastructure Mason's work has been with historically black college universities, Latin serving um, colleges, you know, trying to get more people of color, more women in this industry. So there are going to be conversations around that. Um, the decarbonization of the future, which brings me to, I think, probably one of the most important points. Yeah. Everybody listening that we're going to be talking about um, is sustainability. Now, one final point, I promise, Barb, before I stop talking, um, is is the big difference in this conference and in speaking with uh, you know with Laura Edwards from the team over there and and the conference organizers, the big big difference here and what I want everyone to kind of take away is is have a a oh my goodness a reflective moment a re introspective moment when you're at this conference because from what I've seen almost yeah I want to say I want to say every single one of these sessions is going to give you something practical practical to take away not just something cool and meaningful but something you can measurably take away back to your organization and make some really cool, meaningful and measurable changes as it relates to sustainability. I'm, I'm confident that's going to be the overarching theme. I'm confident that we're going to be talking about everything from, you know, hydrogen to new power capacity to nuclear data centers. We never know. That might be in our <laughs> keynote panel. Hint, oh, hint. Oh. <laughs> check it out. It's going to nice be amazing. Segue, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, but definitely going to be talking about, uh, I think sustainability is going to be a big one. And, and most importantly, things that you can practically do to enable it. Yeah. And I mean, isn't that what everyone wants from a session like this, right? Not only 
great uh, connections and conversations, but real things that you can take away and apply uh, to your business when you, when you leave a uh, lot, like you meant, you've actually mentioned a lot of things <laughs> that are going to be covered and a lot of great takeaways. Let's talk about your panel for a second. And so mm -hmm. you're speaking on day one, I believe keynote panel um, on how are we managing the implications of limited space and power? Uh, give us a little preview, a little teaser. So the good news is I know this is a recorded uh, JSA TV interview uh, discussion, but for everybody listening, literally today, just a couple hours ago, we had our panel prep call. Um, and my goodness, if the hour didn't fly by uh, because of just so many wonderful things that we talked about. Um, and in some of the discussions that we had uh, really revolved around, you know, honesty, and openness and transparency in the green movement. So actually, what are you doing practically to make these visible changes? Um, we're going to discuss, and I know some of the people listening to this might roll their eyes because, hey, you know, you're familiar with what's happening in sustainability industry, but the rest of the world and the market and the industries that are out there are not. They think that we're shoveling coal into giant furnaces <laughs> to power our data centers. That's not true. That is it's not true. So we're going to talk about that a little bit, kind of helping everyone in an industry shift that paradigm a little bit to make sure that people really understand that we are focusing on water conservation, that we are focusing on really meaningful, and again, this word, measurable changes to things like carbon footprints, uh, lowering scope one, two, and three emissions to get to a point of net zero. And listen, as a preview, and, and if you're watching this, we might talk about new kinds of power sources working behind and off-grid solutions. We're going to talk about new edge architecture, and we might even talk about SMRs, small modular reactors, uh, to potentially welcome the future of the nuclear power data center. Now, I'm not going to give any more away because that's going to be a topic for the panel. That was a good, yeah. <laughs> that you don't <laughs> you don't want to be a spoiler, right? Mm -mm, but not, mm -mm. yeah, but that's yeah. It's um. Yeah, like like you said before, there's a lot to talk about, a lot uh, a lot of reasons for people to to show up and, and mm -hmm. tune in. Um, let's switch to switch. Oh, first. cool. Uh, see what I did there? <laughs> We're gonna switch there. to switch. So, can we talk about a little bit about sustainability initiatives specifically that you're working on at Switch uh, to help reduce carbon emissions? Yes. And, and again, it, it's interesting because like, um, I knew you were going to ask this question, right? And I'm, I'm so excited about all the things that we're doing at Switch that I have to keep my answer as short as possible. So, you know, thanks for switching to Switch, but we at Switch have switched to green. Oh, I like that was, it. That was, <laughs> I like that. Oh, I'm going to stick to my day job. Yes, all right. <laughs> so here's, here's what we're doing that's ultimately very, very special. Um, you, you'll, you'll read time and time again, that switch from day one has always tried to operate on 100% uh, green and renewable energy. And we do that in all the markets, but what we do above and beyond anybody else is you're welcome to go on our website and take a look at our patent books, right? We try to design natively um, as much as we can around sustainable architecture, architecture as we can. Now that partly involves 700 plus patents that we've got in the industry, um, working with new kinds of designs that do things like biomimicry yeah, that's actually mimicking nature's efficiency into the data center, things like fan technologies and stuff. We could talk about that for a much longer time, but let's talk about some of the real things that we're doing um, in the industry um, that are really, really meaningful beyond, you know, optimizing a fan and creating like these independent uh, systems at a very, very, very large scale. Uh, I'll give you a couple examples. We are working on a really special solar project um, out in the state of Nevada, because guess what we have a lot of in Nevada? Got a lot of sun. There's plenty of sunshines, um, and so it's it's a 500 megawatts plus of of uh, solar capacity. It's going to be backed by about 850 megawatt hours of Tesla Mega Pack batteries. It's 1.3 billion dollar project that's funded by uh, our partners and obviously working with us as well. And it's all behind the grid, so no. Uh, burdens are being placed on an aging infrastructure. That is extraordinary in itself. But here's the other really big one that I want to talk about, water. Um, we, you know, we in the data center industry get painted uh, as, as really inefficient users of water. Now, water is important for the data center, right? Sometimes you can have waterless cooling. There's a lot of really new designs out there. But for a large part of a lot of people out there, water is used or liquid is used to dissipate heat from electrical equipment. 
So what do you do when you have hyperscale data centers? You're going to need a whole lot of water. So what we've done is we are partnering uh, in the state of Nevada to build a 16 mile, 4,000 acre foot effluent water pipeline. Um, and the entire goal is at Full build out our Citadel campus up in Reno uh, is going to be about 8 million square feet and consuming upwards of, you know, 850 megawatts at full build out. And the goal here, Barb, everybody listening, is to have that entire campus, I, I kid you not, run on 100% recycled, effluent, gray water through a treatment plan. Now, it's not just, hey, you know what, yay, Switch is doing this. It's also being a good neighbor because we're building more data centers. Everybody is building more data centers. So how do you become a good steward of the community and the environment? This kind of project, and I know there's others that are doing this, this kind of project, it removes uh, nitrates from the local river. It, it, it increases the capacity of being able to build homes by 25,000 residences. Um, we actually are helping save endangered species in the local area because we're not polluting local uh, rivers. We're actually we're not even taking any water from those natural resources. It's all self-contained. I, I think that's special. I think water conservation in this industry is going to have way more of a spotlight than we've ever had before in the past. And leaders in this space are going to take water conservation and even throw in a new acronym, water usage effectiveness, if you want. Um, really to a meaningful and again, measurable level where we can go back, not just to the industry, but to the world and say, here's what we're doing in the data center space. Here's how everything that you do, every click that you make, is actually pretty sustainable. Yeah. What a, what a great future that would be for the industry. It's something everyone's talking about and working towards, and it's fantastic to hear this from you. And mm -hmm. And I, I think for our viewers who are probably going to want to hear more from you, they're going to want to find you at Data yeah. Cloud, I'm sure, and they're going to want to come listen to you on your on your panel. Um, and if they want to find you and and learn more about Switch, how can they how can they do that? A very good question, Barb. I, in case you haven't noticed, I'm not shy. I love talking <laughs> about these technologies and. Um, just, just helping people understand uh, more granularly what we can do, how we can together as a team, um, cross industry, create a more sustainable future and understanding that every single click has an impact on what we do and how we live. Um, to find out more about me, yours truly, you are welcome to visit my website, BillClayman.com. You can check out all of my latest work. I'm also a contributing editor to Data Center Knowledge, Data Center Frontier, Information Week, and a whole slew of other really great publications uh, in our industry. And you can also see where I'm speaking, including Data Cloud USA. And then obviously, to learn more about my organization, Switch, just visit switch.com. There's a beautiful little link right up top about all of the amazing sustainability projects and initiatives that we've got going on. Check out the videos, um, you know, check out what we're doing. And listen, if you're really curious, go on a tour. I mean, these facilities are really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. You know, it, we could talk for an hour, I think, <laughs> but we agreed ahead. We weren't going to, right? <laughs> we were I, like, let's try, let's try not to, but there's so much yeah. to say. And so thank you so much for joining us. We'll do this again. Right. And, and we look forward to, to seeing you in Austin. We hope everyone tuning in uh, will come out as well. Uh, and, and so thank you. That's again, Data Cloud USA in Austin, September 14th and 15th. Uh, if anyone wants to register, you can go to datacloudusa.com. Uh, we'll see you all there. We'll see you in Austin. And, and that's it. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. See you everybody soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye.